them watching us? Who are they? What do they want with us? Why are you not frightened? Of you? Of her. I'm so excited about season two because it uh, really lets us obviously just spend even more time with their characters. And I think we get to see a lot of fascinating new shades of them. And so I wondered, what was your favorite new shade to play in this season? Um, yeah, that's a great question. I think my favorite new element to Leanne is she's got this kind of, this, this, she's always had this fiery element in her, but it definitely comes out a lot more. And I think in season two, we get to see that she's a, she's a real fighter and she's maybe not this meek, shrinking violet at all that she kind of displays to the world. She's strong and she's not going to take any more shit from anyone. Um, yeah, that was so much fun to play that and I'm really looking forward to expanding on this kind of like <clears throat> bad bitch energy that she's on at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's so many new, I mean, it really does feel like a different show this time, I think, because the dynamic change is so dramatically at the beginning. With Dorothy now seeing the doll as just a doll and not her son, um, it kind of changes the whole dimension, really. And uh, for Julian, it's we kind of see him kind of unravel a little bit when now he kind of loses control of the situation. He can't really cope with that. And uh, I think, yeah, we do see kind of the more kind of vulnerable side to him that's kind of buried deep under the kind of wine, whiskey and, yeah, brush. Okay. So it's, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's there's a lot going on. And it's, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like Dorothy got a chance to uh, come out of the vulnerability and malaise a little bit and into this maybe misguided uh, strength and power. Uh, she definitely gets into some power struggles with Leanne. And, um, you know, that was sort of terrifying and great and fun and weird to pursue and figure out how to do uh yeah same i i uh i actually enjoy playing off that it's it's nice to see that dorothy has this this uh reasoning and so you see what a great mother she was and what she was fighting for so therefore with with sean he's much more he was so skeptical in season one and now he's looking for answers because he's lost feeling in his hand and, and this blister that, that becomes such a, a crux for him so he's looking for answers and i think that's that's great because it was so fun to play with with boris who plays uncle george and and get to play in in different areas and and bring a lot more kind of i think they enjoyed the comedy of season one so i got to do a lot more of that kind of stuff which which leaves me kind of always asking what's going on a bit like you know in every scene but it, it was still fun it was nice to do season one's been out for a while now so it's given fans plenty of time to catch up but also theorize and wonder where things are going in season two. I wondered if either of you had heard or seen or, or read any uh, fan theories about maybe what was going on that, that particularly tickled you. Was there anything you found very funny or fascinating? Um, yeah, I, 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 my brother sent me a thing where someone said the baby, the guy was Adam and I, guy or a girl, like I didn't know because it's just a tag late name, but they were adamant that the baby was the balloon. You know, they were like, you guys are crazy. There's no way that nanny would put the baby in the suitcase. It's the balloon. And I was like, wow. Yeah, I guess it could be the balloon. <laughs> I don't know why you couldn't on the show like that. But yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't read the internet about no. the things I'm on. <laughs> Probably healthy, yeah. It's a very bad idea. <laughs> Nominally, this is a horror series, but I love the comedy of it. Um, and I think that there's so many great moments in this season where, where the humor is, is played up in these very subtle ways. And I wondered, I mean, as actors, is, is the humor ever top of mind for you? I, I imagine Rupert maybe a little bit more so because Julian does kind of get to provide comic relief. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, I think it's a really important element in a show like this, I think. It's also a very human thing, I think, to see the comedy in kind of the most tragic situations. Um, and I think, yeah, it, it, sometimes you just, you, you need to kind of uh, have a bit of light with the dark. And it's, yeah, it's always, it's something I've always been interested in, that kind of thread of dark humor that goes through. And it's something that I loved about the scripts. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. I mean, for my character, I don't really get to make, I don't really get to be the comic relief ever. Um, <laughs> I sort of walk into a room and the laughter stops. <laughs> uh, which is, you know, I, I think it's really hard to make people laugh. I think that like 
Rupert's character is just so... Rupert and Toby as a little double act in the show are so funny. Like, where they're, like, the bumbling sort of detectives of the show. And they're just, like... You know, sometimes they're absolute idiots. And, like, the character's not the boy. Well, the boys, too. But, like, they're so they're so funny. And I think Lauren is hilarious in the show, too. To be honest, it's just only me that sort of sucks the humour out of the room. <laughs> I want at least one funny line in season two. But I don't think I get one. Maybe, Maybe one. season three then. <laughs> season three, I'll be like yeah. doing close up magic and making jokes and stuff. <laughs> or I'm walking. <laughs> I want to see her get what she deserves. This is too far. Nothing is too far.